Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. So in this video, we're gonna be building the Pilatus PC24. And as the usual, this one is going to be also big, 20 feet, wingspan, almost six meters. Uh, we're going bigger, uh, just wait for it. We're going much bigger. But for this one, we're sticking with 20 feet. So we made molds for, for this one, most of it, except the wings. We're gonna see how much lighter it's going to be. We know that it's gonna be lighter, you know, compared between casting carbon fiber and actually wrapping a whole fuselage that is machined. Uh, this one's going to be lighter, but uh, the time to finish such project will be double because between making the molds and casting all this stuff, it's double the time. We got really fast at, you know, just machining the fuselage and just driving it or whatever doing with it. It's much faster. And we just want to see if it's really worth it to make more from now on or sticking with our method, which is just foam machine, the whole thing. Anyways, the guys actually here prepared everything. They machined the molds and they prepared them for us. We actually casted some parts of it. And in this video, I'm going to show you what we did so far. And uh, we want to cast the rest and continue with the project. All right. So these are the molds uh, for the fuselage. We already casted one side off camera. Uh, this one, the first layer is carbon fiber and we used honeycomb in here. We actually vacuumed this whole thing, which was bane, but we made it work. That's the other half, we will cast this as well. And there are the molds. Uh, this is just one engine nacelle. We even made the balance as well. Uh, everything is uh, molded except the wings. And these here are the tail molds. We also casted these as well off camera. We did not put honeycomb in here because we're gonna put three bulkheads. The two bulkheads in here are going to be for the sleeves, for the stabilizer. And this bulkhead in here is going to be the connection point between the tail and the fuselage because this is going to be, you know, detachable for transport and stuff like that. The guys spent around six weeks on this uh, between machining and preparing the molds. They did an amazing job on these and also like they sprayed everything with uh, gel coat. And this here is the vertical stabilizer. Uh, this one turned out really good. These are the molds and uh, details are great in here. Uh, super light and super strong, of course. Uh, very happy with this one. All right, so now we will uh, continue casting and we will uh, first start with the second half of the fuselage. And um, yeah, go from there. This video is sponsored by BCB Way. PCB Way offers custom PCB prototype service. They also offer 3D printing, CNC machining, treatment fabrication, and more. We use a lot of CNC machining and 3D printing to build our projects. And also we make a lot of custom parts for these massive planes that we're building, like landing gear, for example. At PCB Way, you can simply upload your file, uh, select the material that you want, and get a quote in less than 24 hours. Check them out at pcbway.com, and while you're at it, check out their 10th anniversary. They're offering many coupons until the end of this month. All right, back to the video. All right, and here's the right side casted. Uh, this was actually pain, especially to put this whole thing inside a bag. We had to glue two uh, bags together to be able to fold around this massive thing. The vacuum is somewhat working. I have to, every 20 minutes, I have to turn on just for a second. It, it has a tiny leak that I cannot find. Uh, anyways, it's it's almost cured, so the vacuum is, is actually doing its job. Everything is pressed really well against the skin. 
And uh, on that one, we used actually the second layer on top of the honeycomb, we used fiberglass, uh, this uh, very thin fiberglass, but it was bane to work with because it, like, f first of all, on the honeycomb, because there is not so much surface area on the honeycomb, so it's really hard to, like, you know, roll it in, roll the, the resin on top of the dry fabric that we put on top of the honeycomb. So we thought about, we pre-wet this here, so we did pre-wet it, but we switched to carbon. This carbon is, is 1K carbon. It's actually uh, very thin. It's just 10 grams heavier than that, but uh, it won't be much difference because we used less resin here. So these two, hopefully, should be the same weight. But with this carbon, it's much like stiffer and it doesn't like just wrinkle that, that easy. So we used that, which made it a bit uh, easier for us, but then we had to spend that time that we saved in this freaking vacuum. But anyways, it's looking good. Uh, we'll leave it until tomorrow, then remove the bag and the build blind and all that. And then we will glue these two halves together. We cut the bulkheads and then we will uh, move on uh, with the rest. Uh, it's looking good. Right, and here's the tail, it's glued together. Uh, I used this carbon tape here uh, to connect the two halves. It's very nice. All the way inside, I simply used just glue in there and also in the back. Uh, I could not film the process of this because I was blocking the camera view the whole time, so there was no point. And so this one is looking really good. Uh, I know that it's gonna be super light and I'm very excited to uh, demold it. And so now I have to leave this for 24 hours to cure. And uh, meanwhile, I will be working on the stabilizers.
All right, we're almost done with the fuselage and this thing turned out super nice. We just put three bulkheads, uh, more than enough. And uh, yeah, super happy with this. And so the only thing missing inside is the nose gear base. Uh, it's cut, we just, you know, crawl inside this and glue it in. Uh, super easy. And so I just want to put it all together now and uh, see how it looks. And of course, I want to weigh it. Uh, I'm excited about this one. It's gonna be super light. All right. Alright, we're done with the fuselage, uh, super happy with this, it turned out super nice, super light, this thing weighs, this whole thing weighs 35 pounds, that is 16 kilos, which is amazing for this size, I mean it's massive, and it's only uh, 16 kilos which is amazing, uh, I cut the rudder uh, yesterday and the servo is in it, works really good, the stabilizers are on and they look great as well we just need to cut the elevators which is super simple thing cut the elevators and put the servos I'm so happy with that of course it's still missing the uh, motors and the wings these stuff are going to be done in the next video all right I think that will be it for this video uh, super happy with this and the next one uh, we will be making the wings and as I mentioned the wings are going to be uh, foam core so we just wrap them with carbon so they're going to be super quick and also in the next video I'm gonna show you how we made this the nacelles, the balance and that's one thrust tube this thing is huge just this is one layer of carbon super light and so I'll show you all that and also I will install them on the fuselage this will be glued on the fuselage with the EDFs and hopefully we'll put the landing gear on it and uh, yeah, I'm super excited to do all that. Anyways, stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you guys very soon.